my hair's wet. My hair's wet um, because I don't, I don't have a good reason. I just didn't want to dry my hair. So, <laughs> um, no, actually, there is a reason. There is a reason. I didn't want to dry my hair because it's so hot here, and when I dry my hair, it makes me hot and sweat, and I don't want that. So we're gonna watch my hair dry. That's what we're here to do tonight. Aren't you excited? Um, it's gonna dry as I go, and then <laughs> I figured I'd uh, what's what's the phrase make make lemonade out of lemons. And once it dries, I've had so many people ask me how I do my hair. This is pretty much how I do my hair. So I figured I'd just throw some stuff in it. <laughs> just trying to work with what we have. You know what I mean? Um, how are you guys doing? I, it might be a little bit loud. The air is on. I might turn it down, but I'm not going to turn it down right now. No, no, it's too hot up in here. <laughs> um, how are you guys doing? Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Okay, there. So it's Monday, happy Monday. We're, as far as we know, back to regularly scheduled programming. Um, cause I, I tend to do these every Monday and Wednesday. Some people might've forgotten. We might have fewer people here tonight, you know, cause it's been a while. It's been like a month since we're like really back on track. Uh, okay. Hello. Hello, Linda. Hello, Liz. Hello, Kathleen Caffeine. Hello, Amber R. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Bonnie Nominson. Hey, Lauren Boyles. Hey, Kendall Schmidt. Hi, Night Star Beauty. Oh, hey, Amber R. Hey, Lori Wilson. Hey, Lisa L. Hey, Jerry Morrison. I'm actually doing an acting exercise in my head where I try to do a different inflection with everyone's name, but that's gonna get old fast, so I'll, I'll stop. Um, Amanda, anyone who would complain about the sound of a fan in the background is a dick. <laughs> Well, yes. Well, yes. Correct. But I don't want it to be so loud that it's awful. We're just going to let me cool down for a second and then I can put it on quiet or something. Um, Scars of Stars Beauty is here. Danny is here. Howdy, y'all. Howdy, all. I'm drinking Brow Brothers Mood Juice Oatmeal Stout and editing a video. Looking forward to hanging out. Wow. I don't know that one. That sounds delish. Delish. And you know what? I promise you, you don't care. I promise you, I promise myself that I am going to charge my neck fan, my fallopian fan. If you don't know what that is, well, you've missed out. You're going to find out. It'll be ready for Monday. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to charge it. <sighs> I'm so lazy. So lazy. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, great. Oh, great. You can't hear the fan. Okay, great. Awesome. Um, so. <laughs> You guys are the best. You just, you just get it. You know what I mean? You just get it. Um, okay. So this is what we're doing today. We're doing trying to make up. I have some Chantecaille. It's a very luxury situation. I have some Chantecaille. I have some, uh, Armani that I didn't even know I had that someone sent to me. And I, you know, it's like, I always default that Sherry Ford sent me things and it's usually correct, but sometimes I get it wrong and I can't remember who sent this to me. But anyway, it's a, it's an Armani lipstick, which I'm very excited about. And what else? 
Oh, Pat McGrath. New-ish. I, I really haven't gotten a chance to use these blushes on my channel that much. The new Pat McGrath skin fetish, skin fetish blushes? I know. The names of her things confuse me. <laughs> They're all the same. They're all the same. Oh, thank you. You love my nails. Thank you. I just got them done. Um, because my nails, I have, um, so these are my natural nails, but I have gel over them. And the last, my last nails that I just had taken, the gels taken off today. Wow. Can I, do I know, even know how to talk about this? What am I saying? Um, <laughs> I had those gels taken off. I had them on for five weeks, five weeks. My nail tech at Marie Nails was like, how have your nails not like chipped or broken? There's like, they're in perfect condition. I'm like, it's because of you. It's because, because I come here. I don't know. I also don't do hard labor. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm not like laying bricks. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but Is the color, oh, Ann is asking, is the color gel? So this is, I can't ever really tell you guys like what the color is that I'm wearing because I just, again, I don't, I don't do it myself and it's whatever brand gel they use. So yeah. Uh, okay, so a couple things. I have to tell you, today was a very mixed bag of the day. Um, because I was, I was on my way to the nail salon and I was like, I had, I was late. I was in a hurry. I was on a mission. Um, and I, it's in Soho and I was crossing the street and I got recognized. What? How? How? Like, I know, yes, I have 21.5 thousand wonderful people who watch this channel, but in the scheme of things and you know how huge New York is, that's like crazy town. So I was walking, um, yeah, I was walking across the street and I hear from behind me, this woman go, YouTube lady, YouTube lady. Oh my God, YouTube lady. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was just really, it was really cool. I think she commented when uh, a few minutes ago, I think her name was Kimberly. I'm so sorry if her name wasn't Kim, isn't Kimberly. I was so caught off guard and so like shocked <laughs> um, and so like not looking good. <laughs> Just, well, like looking like this, but like I probably looked like a angry monster crossing the street or something. Who knows? Who knows? Um, anyway, it was fun. It was really, really fun. And then Beyond the Skin with Michelle. Hi, Kate. Just starting watching your videos. Love them. Your skin. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Angie English. Today is the first day of official empty nest. Daughter, daughter and her family moved out this weekend. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to try to cheer Angie, Angie up. Cheer, cheer up Angie is the goal. Um, so then I came home, that was very exciting from getting my nails done, came home and um, so I had my place deep cleaned when I was in Vegas and it was gorgeous, it looked great, it looks great. And, but then we had to have some guys come in and fix some things in the apartment today and of course they left a mess. Um, so I walked in and I was like, well, now I have to clean the floor. Let me grab the Swiffer. Swiffer's gone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alert the media. Swiffer's gone. But really though, I was not happy and I was panicked and I was like searching everywhere, which took approximately two minutes because this apartment is tiny. And I'm like, oh my God, they took the Swiffer. <laughs> they took the Swiffer. So I, I contact the person and I was like, Hey, the apartment looks amazing. Um, did you by chance accidentally take my Swiffer? And she was like, I don't know. I don't think so. But sometimes that happens. 
And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, did you check everywhere? I was like, I've checked everywhere three times. So anyway, um, so just on my hands and knees, on my hands and knees, like a busted ass bitch, like literally just scrubbing the floor with just Swiffers over my hands, just like, so one moment getting recognized, feeling very fancy. The next moment, not glamorous, just on the floor, sweating my ass off, scrubbing, <laughs> scrubbing because someone stole my only Swiffer. Guys, it's really like, I don't know if you noticed, but it's, it's really posh here. It's really fancy. That's why I have to buy $125 lip glosses. Um, to make me feel fancy. Okay. So <laughs> I'll get a new Swiffer. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. It's over now. <laughs> so those are my stories from the day. They were very varied. And now I'm going to start putting on makeup. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm drinking. So this is kind of my go-to thing right now. It is Fever Tree Sparkling Pink Grapefruit. And, oh, hey, Gabe loves makeup. Um, Hendrix and lime juice. Very refreshing. And yes, I did have a very nice weekend, Liz Chambers, with some other very famous YouTube ladies. Miss Better Off Red and Miss Glitter Fallout were in town for the day. We had a really, really fun time. Sarah vlogged it. I vlogged it. You're gonna see what happened. Stay tuned. Um, okay. So let's get going, shall we? We have 185 people here. I would so appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and um, yeah, also subscribe if you haven't, haven't subscribed. Not assholes only. Randy is not home this evening. He's working. Okay, let's get going, shall we? This is kind of early for me. I'm only 13 minutes in, but why not? Oh, hello, Cece. Hello. Okay, so I am going to start the way I started. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. Is it someone's birthday? happening here. Sorry. Sorry. I'm trying to scroll through the comments here. Did I see Zach Dooley is here? Hello, Zach. Happy birthday. Is it Liz Chambers? Oh, this coming Saturday. Well, Liz, I'll sing to you on Wednesday. <sighs> Liz Chambers over here wanting me to sing to her days early. So demanding. Come back on Wednesday and I'll sing for you. Eh? Eh? Sabrina Russell, sitting in hotel room for a new job training, but I'm here. Oh. Is that, I was going to say that sounds kind of terrible, but it could be good. How is that going? Is it fun? All right. I'm going to start this routine out the way I started out my video that I just put up. If you haven't caught my video, I did. It's, it's pretty much a get ready with me. I didn't call it a get ready with me because when you call things get ready with me's anymore, no one watches them. So I tricked you and it kind of worked. Um, and it's basically just my go-to makeup routine. So this is kind of my go-to, but I mean, I kind of try, I tried to mix it up a little bit more tonight. 
with some newer stuff. Oh, Jamie K is here. Oh my gosh. Welcome. Just waiting for my hair to dry. Don't worry about it. Okay. Lisa Eldridge. You're going to get sick of me using her products probably. This is the um this is her new Elevated Glow. gonna tap it on over my skincare um hello Letty Reina Lauren Boyles, Kate, I mixed it in today with Glossier. Ooh, sounds good. Jamie K, we haven't seen you in a hot second. This is awesome. Oh, wait, you can't have the hair dry like that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, now I, I've only used this like maybe once or twice. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector. Kathleen Caffeine, please don't be mad, but I've got another browser open to Temptalia to find a dupe for that elevated glow. Oh, girl, live your life. You better live your life. You better get them dupes. You better get on Temptalia and get them dupes and live your life. Kathleen Caffeine. How, should I, am I, it's, it's, it's old now. I ruined it. Okay. Fenty body sauce. Jamie K, I've been buying a condo in Fort Lauderdale and getting my place in Philly ready to sell. Oh my goodness, congratulations, that's amazing. Just a little bit of that tinted moisturizer. And then the Fenty body sauce, which I'm literally gonna use every day for the next few months, so, or every live stream for the next few months. So just, I mean, you're just gonna have to deal with it. So half and half, Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, half Fenty body sauce. Um, I, so I was waiting for a few more people to get here to tell you about this. There is a creator that I'm obsessed with. This creator is bringing me so much joy. I literally wait for their content to drop every day. Do you see how I'm creating anticipation? Do you love that? This creator's name is Kevin James Thornton. Okay. Yes, Liz Chambers, yes. Yes. So he's not on YouTube. So don't go search for him on YouTube. I've linked him down below in the description box. He is on TikTok. He became TikTok famous like overnight. And he's trying to grow his Instagram to sort of match it. It's hard for me to explain his content to you. So you just need to go watch it. Again, I linked it down below. Thank, just thank me later. You're welcome. Because it is a fucking joy. He's so funny. I was talking to my friend Heather uh, today about him. She's obsessed with him. She, we've literally seen every single thing he's done, sometimes twice. They're just like tiny little videos. Well, TikTok, you understand. And she said, he just gets it. He just gets it. He's so funny. He makes me laugh when I'm in moods where like, I feel that laughing is impossible. If you're feeling down, it's just, he's so talented. He's so funny. Please go. I'm telling you this for two reasons. The number one reason is because I genuinely, he brings me joy and I really want other people to know about him so they can feel that joy. That's the number one reason. The number, one reason. The number two reason is because I really want to be friends with him, um, which is a totally selfish reason. So what I want you to do, 
<laughs> if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, and I want, I kind of want you to, is to go, I want everyone to go and watch his shit and flood his Instagram and comment and tell him that I sent you because I want to be his friend. Damn it. Kendall M. Kendall Schmidt, I will help you thrust your friendship upon him. Yes. Thank you. Forced friendships. That's what we're all about here on the interwebs. Forced friendships. No, but we're, we're going to be friends and you're going to help me. Aren't you? Um, the, the main, the main point is because I just want you to see him and you know, I want you to enjoy him, but you know, selfish motivations. Kevin James Thornton. We're gonna be besties. This isn't creepy at all. It's not, it's not even a little bit psychotic. Um, hold on a second. Why am I? Okay, sorry, I was having an internet issue for a second. Yes, follow him on both Instagram and TikTok. But he's trying to build his Instagram, so go there first. <laughs> and I believe one of his first, he reposted one of my favorites. I think it's like one of the first or second posts that you'll see. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to shut up now, but... Does he post the same things on his TikTok as Instagram? Yes, he does. He tries to repost on Instagram as well. So if you don't have TikTok, I understand. I understand if you don't have TikTok, trust me. It's a whole other game. Okay, I'm just gonna mix up a little bit more foundation. Oh, eep, oh, eep. Kathleen Caffeine, Martina Lily is really lovely. Thank you for recommending. Oh, I'm so glad she is lovely. Okay, Julia said, what is his name again? It's Kevin James Thornton and it's in my description box. So if you missed it, I linked it beforehand because that's how obsessed with him I am. It's down there, it's down there. Damn it. Lisa, speaking of good things to watch, has anyone watched the Pink documentary? I have not. Is it good? Do I need to watch it? I do enjoy Pink. Did I tell you guys that I saw Cruella? Well, I did. Did you? I thought it was amazing. I thought it was fabulous. If, if they don't win something for like you know, costume, makeup, all that stuff. I'm going to be, I'm going to feel personally attacked. Um, I thought it was incredible. The beginning, I will tell you, is a little bit slur. It's a little slow. Um, but just like trust in it and keep going because it's going to pay off. It's so good. Emma Thompson and Emma Stone are a revelation. <laughs> Emma Thompson is quite possibly one of the most amazing female villains in that that I have ever seen. I mean, so is, I mean, Emma Thompson is a villain of that, truly. So you have, you have to see it. You have to see it. And I also saw In the Heights. You're like, how long is she going to dab a tiny amount of foundation into her skin? <laughs> so long. So I saw it in the Heights and um, it's really good too. You should see it. I really enjoyed it. I had never seen in the Heights. I wasn't actually, that's a show that I'm not that familiar with, nor did I know the music. So I, I thought it was, I mean, Lynn Manuel, Lynn Manuel Miranda can do nothing wrong. Let's be honest. He can't. You're gonna feel lots of feelings. 
You're gonna be very touched when you see it. It's, it's great. A merch beauty. I sent him a message and asked him to come say hi. I hope he does. <laughs> Kevin James Thornton. Let's not put too much pressure on the situation, okay? No, that's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope it happens. <laughs> but no pressure. Okay. Oh, ow, glam, glam eyes. Ooh, I like that handle. Finally made it to a live. Can't wait to see Cruella and feel t and feel touched. Um, thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. I, I was talking like in the heights touched me more than I didn't. Yeah, I didn't feel touched by Cruella, but definitely see them both anyway. <laughs> and thank you for the super chat. Okay concealer. This is a very simple routine. So the fact that I'm taking a million years to apply it, I don't know why I'm acting like I don't take a million years to apply everything. Um, Anna, I saw in the Heights on Broadway with Lin-Manuel and Jordan Sparks. Wow. That must've been incredible. Incredible. Okay. So I'm taking the Fenty, uh, bright fix concealer. This is another thing where I'm like, I don't know if there's anything better than this. This is like a cultus brow gel situation where I'm like, is this all I need though? But like, is it though? I think it is. Gabe loves makeup. Oh my God, I bought all this today. Yes, Gabe. Yes, I love it. Okay. Gabe sent me a message on, Inst on the gram telling me he bought these things. So thank you. Get back to me. Let me know what you think. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay, so this, just mixing the Fenty body sauce into the concealer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, there's a new Good Jobbing member. Thank you, Lauren. Lisa L. Thank you, Lisa L. for becoming a, a member. Leslie Mills is here. And Randy would be upset if I didn't tell you that, you know, we're, try we're trying to make it through the Marvel series. As you know, if you've been watching my channel, forced Marvel watching, forced friendships, forced Marvel watching, forced everything. Um, and so anyway, but I have to say we watched Ant-Man 2. I don't know the full title. It's the second one. It's actually really, it was funny. I enjoyed it. I laughed out loud a couple times, specifically at, is it Michael Pena? Is that his name? He's hilarious. I was cackling, cackling. Devo, I wore de sauce to a meeting at the courthouse today and I was a glowing goddess. Wow. Breaking out the sauce for the courthouse, eh? Yeah, Ant-Man and the Wasp, that's right. Okay. Moving on. But maybe I need a little concealer right there, you know, just like a little bit. Great, 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 great. Amanda, I just watched six minutes of Kevin James Thornton videos and now I'm back. I'm not even gonna ask you if you enjoyed it because if the answer isn't yes, I'm, I don't know who you are, so. 
<laughs> Kathleen, cackling is laughter with judgment and there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my God, that's amazing. I've never even thought of it that way. That's such a negative twist on cackling. But you're not wrong. Amber R, did anyone watch the Tati video today? I didn't, I didn't watch it. It's, she, she like told us what all her favorites were from the year. Is that, that's a lot of product. I mean, if I had to do one video about all my favorites from a year, we'd be there for hours. Okay. Now I'm going to put on some powder. This is my Kogan dough. Also, all the stuff is linked below. So if you miss something, you're like, what is she applying? I just got to have that. <laughs> it's down in the description box. <laughs> Beyond the skin with Michelle. I'm still waiting for her paranormal video. Same. I, I'm waiting for the get ready with me with a ghost. Like, seriously, like I'm over here on pins and needles. Pins and needs. Yes. Oh my God, it took this long for me to cool down. I'm always so relieved when that's happened. Maria from Miami. Thank you, girl. Mm. Thank you, Cece. <laughs> okay, now brows. Do I even need to tell you what this is? Like, do I though? I'm not even gonna tell you. If you don't know what it is, you're a monster and we can't talk anymore. Just kidding. It's the Kosas uh, air brow gel. In medium brown. I'm so happy to see in the comments that people are watching Kevin's content. Listen, if you want to watch him instead of me right now, I mean, he's the one person I'll allow it for. Because <laughs> you need my permission, clearly. I'll make the sacrifice as long as you tell him I sent you. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go right now. Maybe, probably not, probably not, let's be honest. So, I thought I had more to say about Ant-Man, but I don't think I do. <laughs> I could go on about Paul Rudd, but do we need to go on about Paul Rudd? Everyone loves Paul Rudd, you know what I mean? It's just... It's like, if you have to mention you love Paul Rudd, it's like, okay, what's new? Okay, Captain Obvious, thank you. Yes, everyone, everyone loves him. You guys are, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Tony Page, who is Paul Rudd? Oh my God, thank God you just wrote Just Kidding seconds later, or I was gonna just flay you. 
Your name was gonna be mud, Tony. It was gonna be mud around these parts. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. What what hair did I just just wipe away? <laughs> the hair I don't have. Okay, so now this is a new product. This is the Chantecaille bronzer, which is apparently an allure winner or whatever. Um, this was sent to me by Chantecaille and I've used it a couple times and it's beautiful. I used it when I was in Vegas. It is a baked jelly formula. This is the, sh I think it comes in two shades. This is the lighter shade. This is called Serena. Sharon Katz, Paul Rudd has a candy store near me. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Are you serious? What do you, a candy store? That sounds like you made it up. But you didn't make it up. I know you didn't make it up, but that sounds crazy. Ryan Beck, New York, he has a candy store? What's it called? So I'm not cream blushing today because I want us to really see the pat blush like a hundred percent. Paul Rudd and Jeffrey Dean Morgan bought a candy store in Rhinebeck, New York. It's called Samuels. Oh my goodness. Could there be a hotter combo of people? That's like almost appalling. I almost feel offended by that combo of people. Like, okay, come on. <sighs> Rude. Rude. I feel like I, maybe a little bit more, just a little bit more. I'm finding even more so that I love this bronzer. <laughs> Amber R, does anyone else have the, have the take you to the candy shop song in their head by 50 cent now? I don't, but now I do. Okay, that's where we're gonna stop. We're gonna wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up with this bronzer. Um, just gonna go back in with, I really don't need to blend this out cause it's well blended, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, let's take a drink. You guys have a drink? Damn it. You better. Okay, so now this is another new Chantecaille product for me. Um, this is the Mermaid Eye Color, and I've heard a lot about this. This was, again, sent to me by Chantecaille. This is the color Seashell, which is like a, just like a shimmery, champagne-y shade. zoom in a little bit here. Oh, Sabrina's having a blue moon with an orange. You better have an orange, Sabrina. It's the only way to go. my kind of eye color. Does it have a green tint? It doesn't. It's very much just like a, you're probably not even gonna be able to, it's very subtle.
Okay. Perfect. Eyes are done. It's like a, it's not like a white champagne. It looks white because I'm tan. Um, because I'm tan, <laughs> I always feel really obnoxious when I say that. I don't know if you notice, but I'm like super tan, so. But take into account that I'm tan. Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> okay. Now we're just gonna do a quick little eyeliner situation. So I have to tell you guys, the last series I finished was Mayor of Easttown. Um, and the person who helped me finish it was actually Michelle Wong. We did a live stream on my channel while I was in Vegas, and then she had seen the ending already, but she's like, we're gonna watch it, I'm, I'm gonna watch it again with you, which is like a true friend, because it's devastating. It's so good, it's so good. But like, literally just sitting in recliners with Michelle, both of us crying, just tears, silent tears, That show is incredible. Like I loved Kate Winslet before that show, but now it's like an undying love. She's just so good. She nailed that weird ass accent. Which as a person who has had to, you know, study accents, um, it's hard. <laughs> it's a hard one. I feel like that baby wing just didn't go like I wanted it to. It's fine. Yes, all the actors are amazing in it. Yes, agreed. Best thing Kate Winslet's ever done. Agreed. Her Philly, Kendall, her Philly accent threw me sometimes. She said wooder and it was weird. Well, that's interesting now because I've had people who are very familiar with her accent that she was replicating tell me that it was like on the money specifically when she said wooder wood wooder um but i don't know i don't claim to be an expert i just heard it was wood oh okay okay i'm gonna forgive kate <laughs> i'm still gonna forgive her because i also didn't notice that but I'm also not from that area, so fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, right, it's a Delco accent. What Kate Winslet was was doing in the show was a Delco accent, correct? Yes? Someone tell me, <laughs> someone agree with me, someone tell me yes. Yes. I'm pretty, I'm like a hundred, I'm 99.9, .9, almost a hundred percent. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. You know, that show was kind of like, um, sharp objects for me. I watched that series twice, twice. That's right. I like depressing shit. I like to be really sad here in New York City. <laughs> mm, sharp Objects was better. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very different. It was very ambient, which I enjoyed. Oh yeah, Kendall, that's a good point. I'm still thrown by the purpose of Guy Pierce's character other than just being a good time to watch. That's a really good point that I actually kind of forgot. Why was he, I mean, I again, I enjoyed him and he was fantastic because Guy Pierce is fantastic. But like, what was that about? 
just to like have give us something positive but that's okay i mean it was pretty depressing so i'll i'll take it i'll take what i can get i guess but it's, i see your point okay i don't always list the tools i'm using i probably should but i have to tell you about this so Sleeky, Sleeky C, looking amazing today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so this is the Refer uh, eyelash curler. And I have been using the Shiseido eyelash curler for years. I probably had it for like a decade. And it's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. But this is better. Um, this was sent to me by Refer. And I'm here to tell you, as a person who's used an eyelash curler since I started using makeup, you might call me an eyelash curler aficionado. <laughs> um, but really though, this is phenomenal. Like there's always a little bit, at least with my last eyelash curlers, like a little bit of pinch, like a tiny bit. But with this, nah, nah. And like within seconds, it just gets all those lashes Yes, Lauren Boylis has had no pinch at all, exactly. And it just curls them all. Look at that. Even that made a difference. <laughs> so good. Mycosis. Um, wow, I really took that up took that out of my register. It's a choice. Um, the coast is the big clean mascara. Just saying. Do I prefer this over the lash idol? Gabe asks. Um, I brought both of them with me to Vegas. They were the two things I brought. I don't know. I don't know. if I don't know. Gabe, why are you asking me these hard questions? What are you trying to do here, okay? No, I don't know. I think they're both good, but I'm definitely using this more right now. The The brushes are very different. So this is definitely like a, like a, a fatty, bigger brush. Um, I feel like this is more voluminous than the Lash Idol. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, Pamela Willis, I've curled since I was 14. Same, same Z's. Oh, wow. People are asking the hard questions. Rebecca Alves, Kate, do you prefer the elevated glow rather than Char Charlotte Tilbes filter? <sighs> How dare you? How dare you ask me these hard questions? Uh, you know what? I probably like them the same. I probably like them the same. I, I just, I love, I don't, I know, I don't notice a huge, a huge difference. I would, s they're similar. I don't know what to tell you. I think the Charlotte Tilbury, you can get, she makes a lot of minis, so you could always get the mini version of her flawless filter and maybe get the full size version of the Elevated Glow. The Elevated Glow, yeah, I don't know, I got nothing. <laughs> um, Sleeky C, you asked about this. This is linked in the description box. Everything is linked in the description box. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
sorry, moment of silence. <laughs> moment of silence for the Lurches. Okay. Guys, what happened to the mascarins? What happened? I mean, I, I don't miss them, but I'm just perplexed. What, there was like a, there was like two months or three months where it was just Mascarenville, and now there's none to be found. Maybe all my shaming is working. Do you think? I blocked them all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's correct. Good. I'm glad they're fucking scared. You should be scared. And blocked. Lauren Boyless, they don't belong here. True, 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 true. Okay, so I have, you know, I've been just kind of doing the top lashes for a while. So look at, but really though, can we take a moment for the lashes? I'm telling you. Jessica, I feel like if you say their name, it's like inviting Beetlejuice or the candy man. She's talking about, <laughs> she's talking about the mascarins. It's true. It's true. Someone's going to be here now or someone will just pop out with it. Somebody. Okay. I think my hair is pretty much dried. This is why I haven't done a recent hair tutorial. Cause it's like, what would that entail? Just me showing up with some wet hair and then like letting it air dry and then just putting this in it. Gabe loves makeup. Why do people need to be shitty? LOL. The question of the century. Lynette, Lynette, your hair is, oh, thank you. Perfect, it inspired me to get the same cut. That's awesome. I love that. I love that, I'm keeping it. And it's just perfect for summer. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Guys, I have to have low maintenance hair because I'll tell you what. I hate doing my hair. I don't want to, like, I can't be bothered with, like, if I had long hair, I just curling and drying and straightening and, ugh, oh, get out of here. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't have long hair, but it's a lot of work. So, I did link this in the description box if there are any pixie haircuts around town who want to know this. My mom actually gave this to me and it's available at Ulta, which is where I linked it. Um, and it's perfect because it has really good holds. It's transforming paste, but it also is shiny. So it's like I pretty much don't need to use anything but this. Um, Gabe, for a roll, do you have to wear wigs or extensions? Yeah, always wigged. Every, women are all wigged in theater. So.
All right. <laughs> do I do I think that the hair product would work to hold curl? Robin is asking. Yes, it, it actually helps my hair be more wavy and zhuzhed and curly. Like if I scrunch my hair with this product, it's like scrunchy city. My mom did a fabulous job on my hair. Thank you. Yes, she did. I mean, again, this is one of the things where it's like, thank you, but I can, I give all credit to her. <laughs> Anyone who cuts my hair, uh, she was the person who cut my hair this time. And same thing with my nails. I'm like, thank you, but like literally I can't take any credit. <laughs> I just sat there and had someone <laughs> do my nails. Um, let's see, hold on a second here. Lisa Blancet, Lisa Blancet sent a Venmo donation just because. Thank you, Lisa. You're the boss. The boss. Thank you. Um, okay. So now that I've done my hair, I think maybe I have to clean up my mascara just a little bit here. Yeah, pretty decent. I actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just to do something different, cause my God, doing the same thing all the time. I'm gonna line my waterline here let me zoom in a little bit. Whoa. Why not, right? Why not? Oh, we're talking hair in this chat. Okay, Liz Chambers, have you watched any of Hung Vongo's videos? Just curious, they're so ASM, ASMR and mesmerize me, but also make me tired. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I, I will check that person out. Oh, wow, I didn't need to get quite so intense there with that. Hold on a second. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. All right. Oh, he's an amazing makeup artist. Got it. Okay, I'm on it. I'll look into it. Okay, so now... Now. Oh, I'm going to do my lower lashes. Wow, you're like, wow, she's really drawing out this boring-ass eye look. If I ever... <laughs> if I ever did see a boring eye routine, this is it. Oh, well, that's right. You soak that shit up. I actually haven't touched my lower lashes, like I said, in like probably a month. Do I know how to do it anymore? Let's see. Okay. Oh. Did I get all of them? I feel like this eye is better than this eye. Hold on a second. Anyone, I'm just gonna say it, okay? And yes, I'm biased because obviously I have a pixie cut and I love it. But if anyone is contemplating cutting their hair off, 
I don't understand not doing it. I don't understand because it's literally hair. And what if it, you loved it and it like changed your life and it you like never looked back? That's what it was for me. Cause I had like glorious, long, curly, I was, that was like part of my identity when I was a teenager. I had this huge blonde curly mane of hair. It was natural. Um, I don't, my hair the texture changed. Um, it takes so long to grow out though. Eh. What if you don't want to grow it out? <laughs> I'm just saying like, life is so short. Do you want to look back and be like, oh man, I wonder what it would have been like if I would have just cut my hair. Like it would have been nothing. And like, what if I would have loved it? I don't know. I just, I don't get the, 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 the reticence. Am I using that word correctly? Oh, I don't trim my hair every three weeks. <laughs> you think I can afford that? Nope. Nope. No, I can't. That's a, that's a triple chin no for you. Okay. We're done with the eyes. Now we're gonna do, we're so close to the end. Uh, Jackie Dumas. Let me see here. Someone say some. I have only three, but long bottom lash. Oh. Oh. Oh, Shuri. 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 Sorry, I'm looking for a certain comment. Hold on. Us curly hair girls cannot rot the pixie. Yes, you can, girl. I don't believe that shit. I had curly hair and I cut it all off. So that don't fly with me. I've seen some amazing pixie cuts on people with short, uh, with curly hair. So, sorry. Also, and this might be a hot take, but I believe that hair, fashion, makeup, all of it, if you believe you can do it, you can. I really do believe that. I mean, I realize there are exceptions to the rule, but I do believe it's a mindset. That's just me. All right. Ageless Beauty 416. I'm a curly girl and I'm about to get a pixie. Yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. I don't know if I, yeah, fake it till you make it. Exactly, Kendall. <laughs> okay, so now I am going to move on to, I think I'm gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna do blush. We'll go, we'll kind of judge the blush after we do the lips. Okay, so this is, I think this is the only Armani product that I own. Love this case. We love a magnetic situation. And this is the, I have to refer to my own description box because the print is too small. This is the Giorgio Armani Ecstasy Shine Lipstick in the shade Desire. Sleeky, do you ever get asked if you're gay a lot, Kate, with the whole pixie hairstyle? No, never, like not even a little bit. <laughs> wow, gosh, I haven't been asked that question since I was like a, like a teenager. <laughs> do people think that? That women who have short hair are gay? Not that there's anything wrong with being gay because there's not, I said there's not, but that's a really stupid assumption. <laughs> Gosh, 
God, people think that still? I'm glad I live in New York City. Jamie K, there is something wrong with equating a hairstyle to being gay or straight. Yes. Sleeky C, well, I guess some people are stupid. They hit on me all the time when I had short hair. Um, I'm not saying if I didn't want... I'm not saying if I didn't walk into a gay bar, I wouldn't get hit on. Okay. And I wouldn't be mad about it. But I don't think people, I don't associate with people who associate. <laughs> Can I talk? I don't associate with people who think that having short hair means that anything about your sexuality. Does that, does that make sense? This is a very shiny lip product. Ooh, hydrash. Okay, damn. I'm loving that color. This is very like I'm just gonna say it's very like Milani they're I think they're called like lip fetish it is juicy it is juicy quench lips yes sleeky C no, I'm glad, what, I, I love that you said you wouldn't be mad about it. What else would I say? <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're not, on this channel, we're, we're also not trying to perpetuate like, you know what? I've said enough. I think I think I've made myself clear. So I'm just gonna boop. Just we're gonna shut it down. Yeah, Nancy West. My sexuality has nothing to do with my hairstyle. Yeah, exactly. You know what's interesting? Okay, I'm not done. I'm not. I said I was done, and I'm not done. Um. I think I think short hair on women. I mean, again, wow. Hey, over here talking about literally what I'm rocking myself. But like, even before I had short hair, I thought it was so beautiful on women. Like the like Charlize Theron, Demi Moore. Like I just don't, I don't get how it looks masculine. I think it's a lot of times, and no shade to any other hairstyle, but I think it brings women's features out and points out even more beauty. Like, that's how I feel about short hair. So. Robin Wright, Halle Berry. Yes, bone structure. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Lynette, it takes confidence to have short hair. It is so empowering, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Twiggy. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Such good, such good examples. Okay. So. Liz Chambers. Yes. God forbid you get hit on by someone you're not attracted to. Who gives a shit what gender, what gender or non-gender? Exactly. Exactly. We're on the same page here. I love it. I love it. Yes, Twiggy is the OG for the pixie cut. True that. True that. Okay. Okay. Now, Blursh. So, <laughs> I, I love this particular shade of the Pat McGrath. Um, 
and it, it is very much like matching my lips. So, oh, Sleeky C. Oh, okay. I didn't say, no, I didn't say I didn't love it. I loved it. Big old bi girl here. Oh, okay, cool, sweet. It's hard to really get all the context sometimes with, with live chat comments. So I didn't, I didn't realize that, but, um, then we're all on the same page and that's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay. So now we're going to do Pat McGrath blush in electric bloom. I think this is like definitely the brightest shade that she has. Mm, Chris Lafferty. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> I'm just making sure I didn't have lipstick on my lips. It's this, this is fantastic. And I love how shiny and moisturizing it is, but it's the kind of lipstick where you have to make sure you don't get any on your, your teeth, you know? Okay, so here we go. I don't know why I'm building this up so much here. I'm trying to go in light because she's real bright. I know it seems like years since you've used a powder blush, Liz said, yeah, absolutely. I know, I'm just like, all into the cream blush. I think that's perfect. I think that's just enough, right? You think? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let me just go over it. Miss Piggy, tell me what you think. Yes, she approves. Okay. Bye, Gabe. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go in with, I don't have to, but I'm going to. I'm gonna go in just a little bit more of the Lisa Eldridge uh, Elevated Glow. And I'm gonna back it up just so you can see the full, the full situation. Yes, has everyone thumbs this up? Please, if you're here, please. You know, I really try to find a way to say the thumbs up thing without sounding schmarmy. It's really hard. <laughs> I think that's probably the thing I do the most takes of when I'm filming my videos that I edit. The part where you're like, please subscribe and give this a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell and else if you could do this and this and that and all these things. I'm just like, oh my God. Ay, ay, ay. But you have to say it. You have to, you have to say it because people won't do it if you don't, some people will do it, but I'm here to tell you, most people won't do it if you don't remind them. It's a challenge. Okay. I think it was the right decision to put like just a little bit more on, right? You think? It's an evening look. So this is the finished, um, the finished look. And I just have to say, these Pat McGrath blushes, and I know, I know you pointed out that I, I am tending toward a cream blush as of late, but this electric bloom shade in summer and winter, it's just perfection. Um, and I, I'm, I'm really approving of the, the lined waterline. I have to say, I think that was like 
just a little bit more glam just kicked it up a notch you know what i mean so you guys thank you for being here <laughs> i love our discussions i love that we talked about maravie's town ant-man if having short hair as a woman makes people think you're gay um <laughs> nails um tati kevin james thornton it's just the list goes on and on it's so random and i absolutely love it <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to all the new people. Sleeky C is new. She's a new person. We've got several. So thank you so much. Thank you to anyone who, let me just double check here to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Um, no, I don't believe I did. I don't believe I did. I think I called everyone. Thank you to anyone who donated to my channel. And if you are enjoying my content, I, uh, I'd love if you could subscribe. I'd love if you could subscribe. <laughs> and I do, I, I generally do two of these a week, every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And I put out normal content as well. Normal meaning like an edited, an edited video one to two times a week. So there's something for everyone. Thank you guys for literally being the best community here on the YouTubes. Um, I think that's all I got. I think that go watch Kevin James Thornton right now, right now, right now. Okay. Cheers till next time. See you on Wednesday. Bye.